fun, I asked my wife, I said, what's good about painting? And she said, well, women like to paint and, and uh, see a new color, and then you feel good about your house and stuff. So, yeah, okay. Okay, and guys can maintain the outside and feel good about their house, too. Make it look good. So, um, what was I going to say about, oh, painting is one of those uh, businesses. It's kind of a classic uh, capitalism, the milk treatment thing. It's easy to get into the market, in an, in an exit, exit and entrance is easy, uh, doesn't take a whole lot of capital, doesn't take a whole lot of skill, anybody can paint. Uh, so you, you can get in and out easily. I would dispute that. Right yeah. 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 So it's, it's well, at least like, anybody can paint part. Uh, you know, yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. Uh, the skill thing. I cannot draw a straight line. You, so. you just don't okay. want Shanti to think that you can paint. Well, <laughs> well Shanti can paint. She's very good at it, but not. Uh, I can kind of roll in the middle. Uh, but that's pretty much. And she is not. That's my thing. Uh. <clears throat> One thing I did learn from painting is uh, just that. Excuse me. It was like after a couple of years, I realized, hey, this is getting easier, and uh, I'm getting more efficient and uh, better at it. And it's like, hey, that was two years ago, and when I first started painting, I thought after a week, I need a raise. I'm good at this. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a kind of like a cute learning and stuff, too. So I know everybody uh, paints their own homes and stuff, but there is kind of a, you do get to a different level of accomplishment. Anyway, I've got some pictures uh, of uh, things I've painted and uh, kind of give you an example of what I do. Oh, that's say no to I-70. <laughs> <laughs> what? Suggestion there. Say no to I-70. And I need to talk to Dan to see about how to make that happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would say 81st. Oh, and then, and then okay. you can come to me. <laughs> Those kids are, I think, four years older now. That one's graduating school and that one's going to high school. So off to college. And, and then, oh, here we are, back to the painting. So uh, these are before and afters of uh, just sprucing up this little entry area here, one of the little accent wall and the trim turned to white. Um, it kind of came out pretty well, a guy's house, so, um, kind of had masculine look. This one, that's the before it had this uh, that pink trim and uh, stuff, and then it turned to that was a white trim and just just beige, nothing too lively there, but it did uh, work well with the accent colors. This wall here, same thing, the the pink trim. It's a little hard to see, but then it turns to that. So he, he was really happy with that. And there's the two together, three colors uh, with a. Uh, Little projects, just a little paint, a little living room, dining room, and it turned into maybe the trimmer color, a wall color, another two colors. And at the end of the job, here, share five products for touch up. Uh, uh, it doesn't take too much to get a lot of products going. This was uh, it's a little blurry, but there's uh, wallpaper and pink beams up there, and it turns to uh, no wallpaper, darker brown walls, and white, white beams. Big change for that house. Yeah. There's the wallpaper part way off in the living room, but that, those pink beams were pretty bad there. <laughs> then it turns to this, and we're all, all good. She was really happy. That was the one that we maybe, some of you have seen these before, that she was wanting to move, and her husband said, well, I'll give you so much money to redecorate. Mm -hmm. And so I, I came in under that budget, and there's that entryway for the color. And it just kind of goes on. I just went, went across this great room. Uh, this is the ugliest house in the world that Barbie did. Barbie had to go. Yeah, she had Yeah, uh, this was Barbie's referral. And uh, this client just wanted me to paint the upper 15 feet or something after 20 feet and start painting. And so I get the big ladders out over the deck and everything. And, um, caulked a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's great. It, it was quite a project, and uh, then put a, a couple of coats of this nice uh, paint on this marquee. It's a, a new product from Home Depot. It's uh, it's forty five dollars retail, but it uh, really works well. It's self it's self priming with two coats, and, and uh, hmm. 
It's supposed to have better color retention. Less, that means it won't fade uh, as quickly. And uh, what else does it do? It resists dust. They do these samples and they put other paints with it and get it all dirty and, and then blow it off. And it does. It works. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Be Oil based? Good stuff. No, it's water based. Water -based. It's, and it's relatively low VOC, less than 50. VOC volatile organic compounds, the things that kill you. So, um, like an oil based decking, sickens, decking stage. Good stuff, and that's forever. 480. You still open it up to all of half a year. I thought it was 500. You can't get a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that was the, it's kind of a shed type house. Yeah, okay, here's a nice little ranch house. This, uh, there's color samples up here. That's kind of the way it, uh, in the process in the beginning, the painting process. Um, i got to keep track of time here. I think they can use them all. Goes, uh, it goes zero scaping. Goes after the bidding zero and uh, the pricing and all and the acceptance, and we do some color samples. Yeah, he doesn't know. Isn't that wild? Uh -huh. I was wondering just weeds. Uh, yeah, he, he, and the weeds just grow. It's weird. I don't know. But his house is looking good now. <laughs> he, he has this white and this old door and stuff, and uh, it turned wow. it turned into this greenish and uh, is that more acres. Yes, it is. Wow. Greenish and uh, dark you know, guy lives there, like the masculine. This was a vinyl door, it got a deglosser <coughs> to make the paint stick, and then it turned into that. Uh, it matched the, the house and everything. Now, are you helping with picking the colors, or yes. are they picking the colors and, you, and, and you're just going? Yes, uh, I'll help and suggest that if they get stuck, then I'll call them. If we get out to a spot where we have well, what are we going to do now? Yeah, and then uh, it's a big relief. I, I'll spend so much time and yeah, that it's just kind of like, well, she's a color expert. She'll tell you what you like. <laughs> type. No, she doesn't, but I mean, they have more confidence, I think. Yeah. I wanted to point this out. Um, this is uh, one that came up with a few years ago. It's a zero VOC. Yeah, yeah. And uh, low odor. And I did an interior. They wanted that. Um, they have grandkids visiting. And uh, the husband came home at the end of the day, kind of traditional um, family. And uh, he said, I don't smell like paint. So it worked. That's good. Good stuff. So, yeah. Um, How can we prove you did the job? I know. It looked, it looked different. I'll show you. That was just an outside. I didn't have a before and after, but they had this res. Those are actually raspberry colored music teacher from Fairview, uh, Manhattan. Um, that door was a pain in the butt. He's like, yeah, I kind of like it like that. Really? Would you like it to be all one color? We have to paint all those little things. Uh, now, do you tape off when you do that, or you're in there steady enough I to? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I can usually get a line. If it's a, not a good corner, I have to, but yeah. if there's a corner, I can. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and why this, that's why you're a professional. Yeah. Well, after time, you know, a hygienist asked me, she goes, How do you do that? I'm like, Well, you know, you've got that sharp pointy instrument, you better know where the end of it is, right? <laughs> you know, and it's just like, oh, yeah, okay. So after a while, you do know where the end of the brush is. Um, this deck I do every year. Um, she uh, lives right in the neighborhood uh, next to me, and uh, we got it really kind of going dark here. And, uh, and then I said, well, let's try sanding it. So we did that last summer and put on a real light, natural uh, looking. Stain, it didn't have much pigment at all. It doesn't last as long, but uh, it sure did, did make it look nice and with a nice like glue to go. So that turned out as well. And then she gives all our pots and I tried to tell them to put uh, containers under and stuff to not water the deck, but <laughs> she says she'll call me next year. So. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, what kind of finish do you use on a deck like that? Um, Seekers. I'll use these secrets. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he's a, he's a fair deck stays semi transparent solid and uh, uh, transparent. And they have these examples over here on the stage. You know. And I'll start with the lightest one um, with a nice newer wood. 
start with the lighter and then gradually get more and more. The more uh, opaque it gets, the more uh, UV protection you get. How often will you do that deck? So that deck, every year? Every year. Yeah, but it can sometimes go two or three. Right. But decks, they don't go as long as they say six to eight years, you don't get that. And they'll give you free product, you call them and say it doesn't work. And they go, oh, yeah, we'll give you a free gallon and do it. Hmm. And the gallon costs $40, it costs $200 to put it on, so it's not a great deal. But if you're doing your own, it's okay. Yeah. But they tend to be, that's the next, the, or the best thing I've found in the last longer. Seconds. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. How are we doing? You got about a minute. Oh, uh, is that plus question? Okay, there's the colors, a uh, different change, beige, got rid of the old stuff, yellow into, well that one's the same, that's before and after, uh, before and after, yes. And then this is the house with the guy coming home. He, they wanted a color around around their bear. bear. So I asked it off, <laughs> painted a square, and the spaces aren't the same on the window everywhere, but we got some metal there quite happy with it. And then they wanted a blue square up there and another hmm. picture's gonna go in there. Hmm. And you have to hang there getting it framed. And they, they went, oh there we are. Okay, now back Woo, to the court. Cheers. Yeah. Back to the skiing. That was a spring day. It's a video but it doesn't quite play. I'm up there in the woods over there. Aww. But uh that was a fun day. Oh, was that a steamboat? Yes, that is a shadow city. And for some reason, there wasn't anybody out. We got the camera out, we took pictures, and we're like, there's nobody here. Yeah. Time for a GoPro like that. What's that? Time for a GoPro. Yeah, yeah. It would be fun. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's the, the uh, incentive to paint to get back to shopping. <laughs> Questions? So, uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, with painting, um, I work uh, mostly with people who I've worked with before or their friends. And uh, that's why this group is so valuable. Uh, it, it lends right towards that. There's no uh, initial, uh, you know, can I trust you? Uh, what, what, what are you going to do? And everything. And their friends say, yeah, you worked it, worked good. And, and then I just go right into colors and prices and 